That's yeah. fine. Um, what I left is God spoke to me. That's the main reason why I left. What? God spoke to me. Okay. That's, that's it. How do you know? How do you know Allah spoke to you? It wasn't Allah. <laughs> well, who else is God? <laughs> Yahweh. Who's Yahweh? Yahweh, God of Israel. But the thing is this, yeah. Wait, wait, no. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. fine. I just no, because I'm, because, like, okay, fine. First and foremost, you're saying the God of Israel. The God of Israel, the Jews believe to be the same as us. Yeah, Allah. They believe him to be Allah. Have you spoken to a Jew? Yeah, I've spoken to some. And Jews, what do they say about Allah? Allah. Yeah, what do they yeah, say they about Allah? They don't believe Allah is God. No. Yeah. They speak to the rabbis, speak to the learned men. So if they believe, why are they not Muslims? Ah, because the Jews have a history of rejecting. And you know, you should know this as yeah, a uh, uh, So the Jews, yeah. and we're even within the Bible, right? The Jews are known to have rejected the true prophets and reject God himself. What happened when they were taken out of Egypt? What was the first thing they did? Yeah, they went to cut a, 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 a god from, for themselves. But what yeah, the golden is, calf. But what, what, what was the reason? What's why? your name, by the way? Larry. Larry, Muhammad. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what, what's the reason why? Go on. Okay, so you the reason people... In Allah. They believe in Allah, they believe in the Rasul as well. Right? So why? So they chose to reject him out why? of arrogance. Okay? The Jews are known to be arrogant. But what's okay? their reason? Huh? Arrogance. They don't want to accept. So knowing you something... They believe, oh, yes. They okay. So there's a difference between belief and acceptance. Yes. Right? So you can believe something, but you can choose to reject it. Right? And this is the, this is the fundamental difference between kufr and, and salm. Right? So kufr... No, you can't. But this is... But Allah has already told us. Within what, what it remains of the Torah and the Injil, and within the Quran, Okay, all three present scriptures tell us the same thing. Forget about what's happening over there. No, no, no. no, no. Oh. Um, all three scriptures, as they exist today, okay, tell us the same thing about the Jews that they have come to know who Allah is and chose to reject Him by worshiping uh, other than Allah, by rejecting, belying, and killing the prophets. Is this something that you can deny? That what? That this is what the Jews have done. Um. When it comes to Christ, that's what they've done. But not when it comes no, 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 no. When it comes to Allah, because before, before the mention, before the mention of Christ, they did this. As you already said, before, when they came out of Egypt, the first thing they did is create an idol, yeah, and who, they and they worship like, that but instead yeah, of Allah. The thing is this: yeah, I can't really talk on on that because I don't know much about their religion, what they believe, what they don't believe. But what the reason okay. why I was showing? Then it, let me tell you. Let me tell you. No, and no, you can. I'm not, Jew, and I'm not saying you're a Jew. Okay. I am not saying this. But I'm saying is, yeah. That who you refer to as Yahweh, yeah. the Jews refer to as Allah. They have no issue in saying, and this is why I said to you, the question here is about Tawheed. All right? Tawheed being that Allah is the only one worthy of worship. So when you're saying, um, oh, God spoke to me, and I said, how do you know Allah spoke to you? You denied the name Allah. And I'm saying, don't deny the name of Allah. No, no, the thing is this when it comes to Allah. Yes. If, I, if you ask me, who's your God? I'll say Yahweh. Who's Yahweh? I'll say God. Right? Okay. If you, ask, if you ask someone like, uh, is it Buddhist or something? Yeah. If, Yahweh, you ask, carry on, if you carry ask on. them, who's your God? Yeah. Who is your God? Mm -hmm. They will say Buddha. No, well, they wouldn't say that. What would they say? They don't have a God. Buddha is, Buddha, Buddha, is, Buddha? Buddha is just their teacher. Okay, okay yeah? not Buddhist. Okay, yeah. then, uh, probably another... Uh, Buddhist, I, I understand Buddhist, what you're saying. Yeah. I understand they will what you're mention saying. the name of their God, right? Yes. Then the thing is, if I ask you, who's your God? Allah. Allah. Then, because, why is it Allah? No, no, no. No, no why is it Allah? The meaning of Allah is what? God. Right? Uh, that's, the that's the meaning. That is, no, no, that is a name. Allah is a name. Okay? It is so one of his what, names. Okay? So what does it mean? Allah means uh, God, right? Exactly. But No, it means, that's the meaning, right? Every name has a meaning, all right? Like, my name, Muhammad, has a meaning behind it. But you don't now say it's not a name because it, it has a meaning. So we're saying Allah is a name. Okay, this is established. But it's God, you look right? at the Bible. You look at the Bible in in the Arabic language. God is referred to as Allah. Exactly. Right. But we don't believe it's Allah. That no, no, no. This saying. is the name. This is the name. No, no. It's just it's a title. revealed. It's not a name. It isn't. No. It's no. Title would be like Rab. A Rab. Okay. Right. If you, if you, uh, uh, a Rab would be you know something you know majestic for Allah. That's but Allah is a name. 
let's go back to this. Uh, what I'm saying, no, forget this, because no, the reason why we're talking this about is this. not more important than your Tawheed right now. No, no, no. You know one thing, that no, when you know, it comes to Tawheed... You're saying to me, you, you've, rege you've fallen out of Islam because God spoke to you. That's what you're saying. the reason why you want to talk to me about Tawheed. Because this is the fundamental aspect of your salvation. So if I believe in Tawheed, then what? Time. There's many aspects of Tawheed, right? But let's first go through step by step. Tawheed, you are saying that Allah or God spoke yes. to you. Yes. How do you know he spoke to you? How do I know? How do you know? I don't get what you mean, how do I know? Because I okay. heard, heard, you heard someone, someone speak. Okay. I don't know how do you know that the voice you're hearing is God? It's God, because he's saying the truth. See, there's a, uh, there's, a, there's, a, uh, there's a Bible verse that says, you open their heart, you open their heart to understand the scripture. There's a way God will speak to you and you understand the scripture. So, say for example, if you're doing math, and someone is teaching you math, and you're finding it difficult to understand, and someone else come and he showed you maybe uh, a formula, uh -huh. and he said, oh, this, uh, had this plus this and this, you but, get this. Then you'll be like, oh. Well, how do so you know? Is, hold on. Then you, uh, suddenly you understand, oh, this is, the, this is what you're trying to say to me. All this one, well. you get it, yeah? Then uh -huh. you'll be like, oh, you'll be feeling like, oh, I know this thing already. That's the way when God speaks to you, so it's already there, but you just have the understanding when so, God speaks to you. But the thing is, Allah spoke to you before. Now Allah has never spoken to me. Of course He has. Allah. Yeah. No. The Quran. No, no, no. You're talking about Quran is something that I read. No, 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 Allah no. Has never the Quran yeah. is Allah speaking to you. All right. Okay. Yeah. I, I can believe Allah right? of Islam. Yeah. Yeah. So this is so this is the thing. Prayer, yeah. And so when you say to me, oh, okay, I heard a voice. The thing is, there is nothing objective about this because you, I could say to you, well, it could be his shaitan, it could be Satan could be shaitan, yeah, yeah. whispering in your yeah, mind and think and making you think that you have understanding of the scripture. But one thing Satan doesn't do is this: Satan doesn't destroy his kingdom. Who said that? Satan. Who said? Doesn't destroy his kingdom. Who said that? Who said that? Jesus Christ said it, and it's true. Do okay. You think Satan All right. Destroy his kingdom. Shaitan, his favorite method of leading people astray yeah. is to get them to do excessively good deeds. Not really. I'll tell you how. Yeah. No, the people of Noah, right? How did they fall into polytheism? The people of Noah. Yeah, how did they... Polytheism started with the people of Noah, right? How did they fall into polytheism? Um, I don't know. Okay. So there were, there were five scholars, right? There were five scholars. It's mentioned in the Quran. There were five scholars that were great. So what happened? Shaitan, during the time of Noah. Before, this is just before Noah was made a prophet. Right, so when they passed away, Shaitan came to the generation of the people of, of those people and said, why don't you erect monuments, you know, to remember them? You know, these are great, so, this is in the Quran, this is in the, the history. Of course not. Oh, okay. But I'm telling you from the Quran, you know, from what Allah has revealed to mankind. This is how polytheism entered, right? The people started building these monuments of these people and thinking, I want to remember these great scholars, these righteous people. Sorry, before let me finish, let, let me just finish. Finish, finish. Let, you know, we want to remember these righteous people. And then they, they passed away. And then the, the following generations and the following generations, eventually the reverence got so high of these scholars, Shaitan came to a later generation and said, your ancestors used to worship these. But what was the original intent? It was to excessively, it was to remember these people for their righteousness. So excessively good, excessive praise and stuff like that. That is what led to polytheism. And this is what the Jews and the, uh, the, Jews and the Christians have done with regards to um, their rabbis, their monks and Jesus Christ. But what right? you just said now contradicts yourself, contradicts that uh, Satan is trying to make people worship in essence. sense. Because at the end of the day, no matter, even if you do good deeds, yeah. but you are attributed to uh, uh, an idol, your good deeds is rubbish. Yes, of course. Exactly. So if those people are worshiping idols already, yeah. and Satan comes to tell no, them. No, but that, I'm saying the root. I'm saying the root cause. The root. Uh, sorry. The the his most favored yeah, yeah, approach it. is to lead people astray by getting them to ex do excessively good things. Are you leading them to extremes? But that's not a good date. If you are no, no. So, for example, let's say you, let's say you passed away, all right? And I wanted to remember you. What do we do nowadays? We have we take pictures of people and everything, and we start remembering them yeah. through pictures. Yeah. And then you have certain people that start hanging these pictures on walls. Yeah. And then a couple of generations, you have people that say, "I worship this guy that's hanging on the wall." But what did it start off with? 
started off with, I want to remember my, my, my late friend. Yes. That is an entrance for shaitan. Yes. So when you say that shaitan will never try to destroy his kingdom, yes. you're correct, but the way he does it, yes is by making it seem like... It makes it seem, exactly. It makes it seem yeah. like... So if he's telling you straight up, you what know... Is good? Anyway... No, sometimes, you, sometimes what shaitan does is tells you to do good to avoid a greater good. Well, it looks like good, but it's not good. Let's no, 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 no. Let's okay. talk about tawhid. This is, yeah, this is part of it. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is... Mm. Okay, tawhid, you believe that God is one, right? Do you? I believe God is one. Who is he? Yahweh. Who is Yahweh? Yahweh. Who is, is no? Yahweh is, God. is he Jesus? No, 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 no. Yahweh is Yahweh. No. See, hold on, hold on. Salam alaikum. So, you know, according to Islam, yeah. Yeah. according to Islam, mm -hmm. Allah is the same God that, that spoke to Moses. Sah. Right? Yeah. yeah. The one that parted the Red Sea. Yes. That's Yahweh. That's Allah, right? That's Our Allah. Jews and Christian knows him as Yahweh, right? The Jews did not know him by Yahweh back then. Uh, when Moses came, Moses told them the name is Yahweh. No, he didn't. Moses didn't say it's Yahweh. You are, you are now relying on the Old Testament for this, okay? No, no, so are you saying it's not in the Bible that Moses said... No, no, the, the name no, first of, no, first and foremost, um, according to the Old Testament that you currently have, God said to um, Moses, go and tell them, what's his name? Ehyeh? Yahweh said. Yeah, Ehyeh, yeah. Eshe, yeah. 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 Tell them, yeah. Ehyeh has sent me, yeah. right? So he didn't, he said, go and tell the Jews my name. And it wasn't Yahweh. This is, this is recorded in Exodus, right? It was Ehyeh. Okay. So, okay. The thing is, I might not be able to speak the language, but we know it's Yahweh. Look, I'm, t I, look, I'm, t I'm telling you. What did he call it? Huh? What did he say? So according to the Old Testament, as it stands. Hebrew, it's Hebrew, right? According to the Hebrew, yes. Yeah. Yeah. As it stands today. Yeah. yeah, I'm not talking about now all textual criticism. Yeah. As you have it today. Yeah. In Exodus, it, uh, when when uh, Moses, Moses is speaking yeah. uh, to God, like, yeah. okay. God tells him to go and tell the people who he is. Yeah, yes. go and tell, and he says, "Tell them, Ehyeh hey, sent me." Is that the name hey, of yeah. Allah? Okay. Is that Allah as well? But that's Allah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we believe this so to be if Allah. It's Allah. Five. If it's Allah, mm. do you think I'll call it Yahweh? Do you think his principles, Yahweh's principle and Allah's principle, do you think they're supposed to be the same or different? Okay, so what the Jews have done with their scripture no, no, not is not... Jews. I'm saying like, God, uh -huh. his principle, is it supposed to be the same? When, when, what, what, to, when you say principle, okay, what do you mean? When it comes to, okay, let's say his principle, when it comes to, let's say, fornication, adultery, uh, Well, it has been the same. It has been the same. It has been the same. Okay, then. So, if it's different, because according to us as a Christian, we believe your God is a foreign God. Why? Okay, because whatever Allah is saying is different from what Yahweh says. Okay. The example is the muta. Muta, I will, According okay. to you, uh -huh. do you think muta is prostitution, fornication, adultery? Do you think that's Mu what muta, muta is? was a practice, okay, which is now being no, no, prohibited. Before you, before you explain it, do you think it's prostitution, fornication, adultery? Do you think muta is, is, is those three things? Well, you, now yes. Yeah. Now since, yes. Since it, since it was since it was prohibited at Khaybar, yes. So before then, it wasn't a prostitution. It wasn't. A it wasn't. It wasn't uh, unlawful. Uh, let, no, not unlawful. Was it a prostitution? Or prostitution? No. no so okay. And adultery. So it would be considered that, right? If it but was why unlawful. Would God not, why would God not Five. allow prostitution, adultery, fornication? No. Look again. You're you're actually veering off Tawhid, okay? Because what you're talking to, what you're talking to be about, about now yeah. is legislation. No, no, no. What I'm no, it is. is no, 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 no. If it's the same God, okay, it, the principle should be the same. La, la, okay, That's so what no. So what I said to you with regards to, uh, you know, the, the big sins, murder, adultery, yeah. fornication, halal, haram, okay? It is largely the same, okay? Because, but the thing is, what you are uh, forgetting, yeah is that the legislation, this is why we have to make a distinction now between the Tawheed and the, the legislation of Allah, right? So the oneness of God versus the, His legislation. His legislation was put in place for certain people at certain times, right? I don't believe, I don't believe Allah okay. is God. That's why I'm using this uh, as a example to show you no, no. that Allah cannot be God of Israel. No, but that makes no sense because the thing is, if you, if you were to incorporate this um, idea, yeah you'd have to reject what the New Testament teaches. Why? Because there is abrogation of the Old Testament laws. Okay, but well, when, when la, 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 la. Sure. In, the, in the New Testament, that God allows us to do something bad, something okay. that you consider not righteousness, 
he consider evil, look, he consider sin, God has ab and he allows No, 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 but God it. has, look, Allah has abrogated certain legislations, all right, according to your New Testament, okay? This is, uh, this is taught in Matthew. What? What? Okay? What? Like what? Something like what? So, for example, divorce, okay? Divorce? Divorce, the Sabbath, the Sabbath in of itself. No, I'm talking. About, I'm not saying evil. I'm talking about change in legislation. You're saying they shouldn't be changed. I accept that. I accept right. that God can do that. Right. So Allah did the same in, in, no, in the Quran. No, it's not the same. Okay, let me explain to you. Okay. You get, you're getting it wrong. Hold on, hold on. Let me explain it to you. Hmm. Which one comes first, Christianity or Islam? Islam. How can Islam come first? Islam was from the beginning. Oh, come on. Christianity was not the Christianity was not known to Isa alayhi salam, okay, and Judaism so was not known to uh, Musa alayhi so salam. Why you said Islam comes before Christianity? Explain. Christianity to me. is something made up after Isa after Isa alayhi salam. Explain, right? explain what you mean by Islam. Okay, Islam is the only religion that has always existed. Judaism and, and Christianity are, are man-made concepts. In man terms of yeah, in terms of the Deen of Allah, in terms of the religion of God, it's always been Islam because Islam means to submit to the will of God, okay? The so to and the will of God. And that is what every single prophet brought. To, uh, to worship Allah alone and don't associate any partners and to obey the prophet and the legislation that came. Which prophet? Came. The prophet of their time. Okay. So, okay? so for us, it's Muhammad peace be upon him. Okay, listen, for you, it's Muhammad peace be upon him. You know, actually, you said Islam is before Christianity. Of and course. You said you have to obey okay, so the prophet. Was, was, was Jesus a Christian? He wasn't a Christian. Why? What was he? He was a Jew that follows Judaism. Yeah. No, no, no. He was an he was an ethnic Jew. Yes. Yeah, I'm talking about Judaism. in his I'm talking about in his deen. Yeah, no, Judaism. He can't he can't have been following Judaism because Judaism wasn't the religion of Musa. What was what's, what was his religion? I'm asking you. What's the religion of Moses? He he didn't. He, no one understood. What was his Judaism is nowhere to be found in the Old Testament. What do you mean it wasn't found? You, they didn't write it in any way. It's not even in... Christian, uh, Christian is found in the New Testament. It's not there. It is. Christian is found in the, in the New Testament. What? What? It's in Acts. Acts 11, if I'm not mistaken. That says what? It refers to Christian. It, re it refers it, it may, to it. It refers to Followers Christian. Followers of Christ. That's what Christianity means. No, it, no. That's why it means followers a Christian, of Christ. A Christian is actually a mockery of yeah, those. people that follow Christ. Yeah. yeah. But okay. it was to mock them. It wasn't... Listen, listen, so yeah. that's what I'm saying to you. No, no, in no, terms no, of... No, 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 no. In, terms, in terms of religion, yes. right? Christianity is not the religion of, e of Jesus. I, I said it. Yeah, okay. It so what was the religion? Because it wasn't Judaism. It is. It was. It was. No. But he follows Torah. He follows Torah. That's why he follows Torah. He agrees with Torah. He no, but he didn't follow the Torah, did he? He did. Okay. He was taught the Torah, but what, what, what was he given? Okay, listen. What was he given? What was who given? What was Jesus given? He wasn't given anything. He was given the gospel. No. So Jesus wasn't given so the gospel. Al in Injil. No, that's you, Muslim. So listen here. Yeah. Well, you, what you, what do Christians you, no, no, believe in? No, according to you, I can understand if you say it was given in Jew. But according to me, according to Christian, no, it wasn't given any book. You understand? I'm not referring to a book. Yeah. I'm talking so, about the Injil, right? Yeah. We call it Kitab, right? We call it Kitab, but, but it wasn't given But the Kitab, book. yeah, we call it Kitab. But at the end of the day, it was revelation, okay? What? Like we refer to the Quran as, as, as Kitab, but when it was being revealed to our Rasul, it wasn't in the book form. What was, what was revealed to Jesus? Nothing was revealed to Jesus. He knows no. everything. He doesn't know everything. Okay, okay, listen, Hence, it was revealed listen, to him. Right, okay, the the Injil was revealed to him. Well, well, the reason why I ask, okay, we're talking about, um, you said Islam was a it, it came before Christianity. Came before Judaism. But the reason why Islam cannot, it's not, it's not possible is because Muhammad came after Jesus Christ. No, so now we're talking, no, no, came, you're making a decision. Quran, hold on, Quran making, came that's after, a, that's, that's a Quran different thing. Came after Jesus Christ. That's a different thing. No, 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 it's, hold on. No. In order for you to be a Muslim, in order, sorry, in order for you to follow Islam, so, yeah. you need to know about Quran. You need to know about Muhammad. And Allah, right? No, and the other prophets, all the other prophets. Okay, no, no, no. This yeah, no, no, no. All the other prophets. Okay, why you say Shahada? Can, so, okay. can you be a Muslim without saying Shahada? Uh, no, you have to testify. You have to I, testify you by be, your tongue as well. No, right? Mm. So, I can, someone during the time of Christ or before you start Muhammad can be a Muslim. Because Islam, they cannot. Because okay. Islam yeah. is not dependent on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Specifically speaking, we're talking about Islam. We're talking about Islam, and this is why we see in the Quran. It depends on Quran. It depends on the belief of Allah. Yeah. In Allah, okay. Which we don't know who Allah was. Okay. Until... Well, the, the, the prophets told their people, all right. That, that and the no belief in the Allah prophet that is sent to you, and then and the revelation that is sent to that prophet, okay. So you know. Plainly right, okay, speaking, okay. so, if you're gonna say Islam so is the disciples were Muslim because they believed in Allah. 
Listen, they believed in no, Isa as a prophet okay, okay, and okay, they okay. followed the legislation right, of Allah, they followed the let gospel. Me this, let me ask you this. You said, so far you believe in one God, right? Okay, you submit your so will. let me look. I'll tell will you why it's God. not dependent on Muhammad. I'll tell you why it's not dependent. Because if I said, if I said, I, th I believe in Allah and I believe in Muhammad sallam, and I believe in the Quran yes. but I don't believe in Jesus I'm, I, the, the, sh the shahada means nothing Shahada means nothing It, it means nothing, I'm not a Muslim make, But you don't include Jesus Christ Because when, what, because when, because when, I, when I testify about Muhammad sallam, being, yeah. or, being the, the you Rasul accepted or, or, uh, Exactly, I so I accept but everything already what I'm saying already. is this, yeah? without knowing who Muhammad is, Allah is, Quran is Without knowing these three, can you be can you follow Islam? No, of course. Following exactly. Islam is to have the knowledge. Exactly. So However, with, with, before, before, this, we're talking, no, but you're making a conflation. What I'm speaking about, after all this study, all this you're study. making a conflation. When I'm speaking about Islam, yeah. I'm speaking about the deen of Allah. Now, the deen of Allah, okay, the religion of Allah concluded, right, in its perfection and completion with Muhammad, peace be upon him. Said, so for shahada, us, no. You saying shahada, for, you cannot. Okay, listen, in our times, yes. Okay, let's leave it, let's in leave our it. times, yes. Because now you're, you're making a distinction. Look, I'm making a distinction between the religion of Allah and how we practice Islam today. Okay, see, let's agree on this. Agree on this. According okay. to you, Islam is before Christianity. And it is, yeah, no but the thing is, this, yeah, if this is how you know, it even was for you to say that, if Islam is before Christianity, you know, during the time before before Muhammad, oh, Arab people they were doing muta before Muhammad. At all. Before he became yeah. prophet, yeah. they were doing muta. They were doing worse than muta. No, no, I'm talking about. Muta. Yeah, I know, but they were, they were doing muta, right? Mm. So, and there are Christians that live among them, Jews that live among them at that time. If a Christian at that time participates in muta, will it be a sin for that Christian? And whoever that follows Judaism, will it be a sin for them to participate in muta? In terms of muta, I don't know what the the laws they had regarding muta. Then the seventh commandment from God. Right. Okay. So the commandment is All right. Adultery. Thou shall not commit, commit adultery. adultery. All right. Yes. See, the thing is, adultery yes. is something defined by Allah. Right. Defined by God. Yes. Okay. So, which so if you fall outside, that, okay. Right? So, for example, right. And this is why, when you asked me the question earlier, I said it was unlawful. Right. Yes. It was. It was lawful before, and then it became unlawful, okay. because that is the definition of zina or muta. It's something that, is, that Allah has. Uh, made so lawful or un unlawful? Type. Type. No. See, for example, right, concubinage. Prior to it's uh, prior to uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, okay, with uh, Suleiman and the Old Testament prophets, concubinage was fine, but that was out of wedlock. Well, it was. God didn't, God didn't. It was. It was fine. Yeah, no, right. It was fine. No, no, no. It was. It was permissible. Concubinage was permissible. Okay. However, it was out of wedlock, but it still wasn't defined as prostitution, adultery, or fornication. Because it was permissible, so that's why it did I not fall into that category. By God, by God, listen, by God. Not show me. But, where, can you show me anywhere in the Bible no. where God says you can have concubines? You can, okay. You can we are this. talking. We are talking about the prophets God. now. Solomon. No, no, no. Right. They can make mistakes. You know when they. Say, no, when it comes to religion. When it, to you, according to your. No, no, according to, to Allah. I'm not saying to you, I'm not. Right, according to the yeah, according to Allah, right? Which is, which is Who a, sent the prophets? That's misleading. For you to say a okay. human being cannot make mistakes. I never said that. I never said that. I said with regards said, to religion. I said that's what Quran is. I said with regards to the religion. Yeah. Okay. So Allah has sent the best of mankind to teach us the religion. Make so they will the not mutar. they will not make what make do you call it? The mutar. I'm speaking to you about Tawheed. No, no, no. That's make, more important no, no, than Mutah. No, 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 no. Look, listen, finish, you and I, you and I no, you and I have make me be a Muslim. No, I'm, what I'm speaking to you about it now, so you reflect upon it. So no, you're not getting it, yeah? You know, we have Christians that believe in that Jesus Christ is not God. Yes. Right? So, even if... And then even, we go take the next step even, with them. Even if, even if, God forbid, I believe that, I cannot be a Muslim. And the reason why I can never be a Muslim again is because... I don't believe Allah is the same God as the one that spoke to Moses in the Bible. If I believe it, then I can be Muslim. But if I believe that it's different God, that's foreign God, and that's real God. Do you get it? So if you can make me believe that they are the same, then I can be a Muslim again. But what I'm trying to, that's what I'm saying to you that why would God All right. allow prostitution, How, okay. let me ask you this. adultery? All right, let me approach this from a different angle. Yeah. 
You see, how do you know? Explain why no. God allows that. I, I have, but no, 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 but no, no, like no. I said, let me try it from a different angle. Yeah. How do you know that the God of Jesus yeah. is the same as the God of, Muhammad, uh, of Moses? Because Jesus Christ affirmed Torah. He didn't deny Torah. Okay, so the Quran affirms the Torah and the Injil. Okay. So if Quran <laughs> affirms it, if, hold on, if, Quran, if Quran affirms it, then thou shalt not commit adultery, seventh commandment. Let's see what the Quran says. Hold on. So why did Allah allow it? I'm asking you. Why did Allah he didn't allow, allow it? it. At one point, muta was permissible. By who? By Allah. So it wasn't adultery. Oh, sorry, so it wasn't me. adultery. Okay, listen. To right. Me. When he made it unlawful, it, now then it becomes adultery. Okay. So make me understand. And fornication. I, I want to understand what you mean by. It's at the time that Allah allows it, then it becomes nothing else. It becomes what? Okay. Impermissible. Haram. It becomes no no. When he allows it, it okay, becomes it's halal. So halal. So prostitution becomes halal. Okay. Fornication becomes halal. No, because it's not deemed as that. Why when it's know? permissible, it's not deemed okay, as that. Let's, 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 let's define what prostitution is. What's prostitution? No, okay. So look, listen. Again, I'm very careful with my words. I'm very careful with my words when it comes to Allah and what He permits and, and, and prohibits. No, 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 no. This is the word of Allah. This, I'm talking about the we are talking about the legislation of Allah, so I'm very careful. So in my word. Oh, no, 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 she's, she's not his responsibility. She's not his responsibility. So, can you define what No, no, listen, listen. I want you to understand the principle here. If, if God prohibits, and this is why I said to you regarding concubinage, because concubinage, by definition, is uh, intimacy out of wedlock, correct? But when it's permissible, you don't call it adultery, for, or fornication, or prostitution. You don't call it that because God has made it permissible. God didn't make it anything permissible. Yes, concubinage was show permissible. Me, if you only show me, if you can only show me in the Bible, okay. where God says, okay. you so concub. All right. If, God can, if, can show if it was, me, if it was impermissible, God would have prohibited it. You know what Jesus Christ said to the people when they said, "Moses allow us to divorce our wife." He said, "No, Moses allow you because of." Because your art is adding, that's why Moses allowed you. In the in the beginning, God made man and woman, just husband and wife, not two, just one and the, one. Okay. That's what Jesus Christ said. That they are not. That's why Christians uh, don't hey, marry. That's why Christians so, don't is, marry more no, than one wife. Is, or one, more than one wife now. But Jesus Christ said, in the beginning, it's only a man and a woman. Okay, first and foremost, he didn't he didn't command uh, polygamy to be, uh, polygyny to be impermissible. He didn't make that. Oh. Isa alayhi salam. Sorry. You know in the, in the Quran or in the Bible? No, even in the Bible, right? He didn't, he didn't issue that as a command from God. Well, did he issue that with you? Okay, so what I'm saying to you is, God did not prohibit, he did not prohibit concubinage. Um, and concubinage wasn't even prohibited at the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Okay? Now, what I'm saying to you is that we have to be careful with our words concerning God. So when so we say what is it permissible and impermissible by God. At, by God. Okay. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, He at one point, yeah, when Islam began with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it was permissible to begin with. At Khaybar, it became impermissible. All right. Now the wisdom of that we can discuss at another time. But the point here is that um, prior towards prior to it, it was not considered unlawful. So it was, it was no. That's what I said. If it wasn't no, no. If a Christian before my man, are you no, no. If speak? A la, 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 la. If Alhamdulillah, we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. If a Christian yeah. engaged in muta before Islam, will it be considered a sin or not? Look, you said. I, I said I don't know because I don't know I what was know, because, because the, I don't the know. The commandment is that shall not commit adultery. But what is adultery? Adultery is a man that's say for example, a man is married okay. and he's sleeping with somebody else that's other than his wife. Right. That's adultery. No, that's that's what you're misunderstanding. Okay, what's Hence adultery? why, what's adultery? okay, adultery is to be intimate with a woman that is unlawful to you. So if a woman, so if a woman is lawful to you, right, then it is not considered adultery. Hence concubinage. So because a concubine was lawful to you, it was not deemed where, as where adultery. Is it, where is it lawful to you? Where did God say concubine is lawful to you? Okay, again, look at the Old Testament. 
look at. I didn't, I've, I've looked at Old Testament. I've never seen anywhere. Have you God ever seen? Have you ever seen prohibition? Something. Have you ever seen prohibition I've of never, of concubinage? I've never seen where God said do it. If I've seen where God says do okay. it. Okay. So there is a principle. There is a principle. There's a principle. There is a principle. Uh, I saw the Jesus Christ said yes. With regards to what is lawful and unlawful, there is a principle that everything is lawful, lawful unless Allah explicitly prohibits it. Okay, so, what, what about so because what about because that's been explicitly prohibited, what but what it is? No, it's not prohibited. No, 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 no. Okay, listen, it? listen, Larry. That's what I'm saying. Larry, I I've given why. you the answer. What, I'm not gonna go. I'm not. I'm not so gonna you say believe, it again. So you believe God? I'm saying what is unlawful, and this is the last time I'm gonna say this. Okay. What is, if it is adultery, is defined in 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 religion. Yes. In terms of what is unlawful for you, a woman that is unlawful for you, yes. right? That would be it's adultery defined, or food, yeah? So that is a, that's, that's divine, okay? A concubine is not defined as unlawful to you in the Bible. There is, no, there, is no def, there, is no, there is nothing in the Bible that says a concubine is, is unlawful. Is. I told you what Jesus Christ no, said. No, no, no. Moses said, Moses said, Isa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam did not prohibit concubines. He was talking about marriage. He didn't talk about what I want to hear concubinage. From you said it, which is true. You okay. said it down. Uh, okay. Allah. Okay. Uh, so Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So again, we're going back to the same question. Because you've now said a couple of things to try and distinguish Allah from Yahweh, but yes, none of them have worked. One. But none of them have worked. Uh, to you, you agree that okay, sorry. No, objectively. Let me ask you one objectively. Last question about because you said because, because when I said to you yeah. because when I said to you, yeah. how did you how do you know that uh, the God of uh, Jesus is the God of Moses? You said it because he affirmed the Torah. Yeah. So I'm saying to you, well Allah we affirm the Torah and the Injil. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask you the last question about this matter. You know when God says something, say for example, God says don't eat pork. Yes. Satan will make you want to eat pork. He will tell you eating pork is good. That's the way so Satan works. Yeah, if God said don't do something, right. Satan will say do it. He doesn't tell you to do it straight away, but, but that's the way. But he leads you down that path, yes. So at the time that at the time that Allah was telling people to do muta, what do you think Satan will be telling people to do that time? Not to do it. What at do you the time mean? that Allah okay, so allows people no. to can they can do muta. Okay. What do you think Satan will be telling people to not to do that time? Well, I just, no, 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 alhamdulillah. Take one, brother. Take one of you. No, no, no alhamdulillah. Okay. What do you think Shaitan will be telling people to do? So, Shaitan doesn't always, do? right, Shaitan doesn't always, you know, have to go to every specific law. Well, what do you he think? will always, what do you okay, think will be in terms of the tricks of the Shaitan, okay, when Muta'a was permissible, I don't think he would have done anything, right? You don't because, think he would be telling people to do it? No, because it makes no sense, because it is in the nature of man, that we want to engage in, so, in these things. So Satan okay? will agree that Muta is fine, or he will, he will disagree that So, Muta. no, so how, how uh, Shaitan has worked is, when it became impermissible, okay, he fed on man's desire to make certain groups, like the Shia, right, uh, in, uh, continue to engage in what has become unlawful, right? But when, it's, it's, when it's more lawful, it, so, no, but this is the thing, what again, to make you you're getting to, no, 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 what, what you're doing, you okay, this, right? I'll tell you something from, a, from an Islamic point of view, okay? Ayatul Kursi, eh? the greatest ayah in the Quran, yeah, is Ayatul Kursi, right? Yeah. Who taught the Who taught the Muslims this? Who taught it? Who taught Who taught Muslims that it's you know it's the best ayah in the Quran? I don't know. Satan. Oh, how? Okay. So this is a hadith of Anas bin uh, Is it Anas bin Malik Abu, Abu Huraira, right? Satan taught them. How? Okay. It's a long hadith. You can check it out. But it's it's Kursi, narrated. But it's narrated by Abu Huraira uh, or Anas bin Malik. I can't remember which. But Rasul mentioned, right, that this, the, the individual that came to the Sahabi was a liar, okay? Um, and I forgot the, the, the whole story, but Shaitan, like I said to you, sometimes Shaitan will teach you what is good to avoid something that is greater, okay? But so Shaitan, he came in the form of a man. To yeah. Tell them. Yeah. But the Prophet, وسلم, he just referred to him, he said, he spoke the truth there, okay? He spoke the truth there. So Shaitan sometimes, what he does, he speaks the truth, all right, um, in order to start getting you down the path, right? But this is, but these are all tricks of the Shaitan. The thing is, unfortunately, when you leave Islam, you forget, you you don't know the tricks of the Shaitan. You don't, okay? So you said that one. You said the muta. So likewise, so likewise, with regards to muta or any legislation, okay? Shaitan will try to always feed on our weaknesses 
And most of the time, our weaknesses is in, is in what we desire. Okay? So when mut'ah was permissible, the Sahaba were able to fulfill their desire. So there wasn't really an entry route for shaitan. Okay? So this question doesn't really make sense. Okay? To you, it doesn't make sense. But to me, it makes sense for me. Right. To, to think okay. That well, let's, t let's table this, inshallah. Re reflect upon it, okay? I'm asking you to, ref I'm asking you to reflect upon it. Let's okay, table it. So let's, let's talk about something else. Okay. Let's talk about another one, which is um, Allah permits a Muslim to marry a girl that is too young to menstruate. Well, who said he, he, he permitted that? Are you saying it's Okay, so look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He permitted us to marry under conditions, right? Certain conditions. Is that a woman is able to um, Uh, give consent, okay? What I said, is it not true? Is it not in the Quran, what I said? No, oh, in the Quran it doesn't mention that. Okay. It doesn't mention, what do you call it, so, to marry, to marry uh, so, pre-pubers and girls. So, you cannot girls. marry someone that is too young there to is, in Islam. Is that what you're saying? In, yeah, because look, in Islam the criteria is that is she has to be able, she has to be able, Quran and Hadith, right? The Quran and Sunnah. That she has to be able to consent, okay? And she has to be physically ready for the marriage and that like I said it's, uh, it's evidences from the Quran and the Sunnah and that she has to be you know spiritually there to be able to and you know she has her mental and spiritual faculties about her that would be a contradiction then Surah to uh, chapter 65 verse uh, 4 yeah the yeah, Uda period okay well um, yeah, the Uda you know it uh, I, we, this is a very old Very yeah, old yeah. argument. Well, no, 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 it's not about argument. I'm saying because you, you're denying it. No, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying. So no. what do you think? What do you think this says about? Do you think yeah, this says, regards to pre, uh, prepubescent girls? Yes, because no. it says. Okay, it, it gives uh, three categories, right? One. No, this one's talking about about those girls who do not yet men menstruate, right? Yes. Okay. So that that one. Why are you thinking uh, prepubescent? Because Ibn Abbas said it is. Ibn Abbas. In which tafsir? Tafsir Ibn Abbas. Tafsir Ibn Abbas. Yes. You know there is no such thing as Tafsir Ibn Abbas. Uh, what do you mean? Okay. The, <laughs> tafsir Ibn Abbas, and this is where you need knowledge now, okay? okay? And I'm, I'm telling you yeah, sin yeah, sincerely. Tanwir al miqbas what you're referring to is called Tanwir al miqbas This is attributed to Ibn Abbas. So it's a lie. But it's not authentically attributed okay. to him. So whether this tafsir is actually from Ibn Abbas, we don't you know. We don't know. Right. <laughs> okay. okay? This is well established. No, no, okay, okay. This is well established. Well established. This is well established. Okay. Only the only the ignorant, and I'm not saying this yeah, with, no, with any fine. maliciousness. Yeah. Ignorance means people who don't have you knowledge, don't know, right? Yeah. Only the ignorant will appeal to that. And I've done that mistake. In the past, I've made that mistake where I've where I refer to to, to uh, tafsir. Oh, it says in tafsir and men are best. Okay, let's forget But that. Was mine, okay. Let's However, so for example, that, that, that for that example, there is there is there are conditions. There are medical conditions. No, no, no. Let's, Hold on. Let's stick Let, to this I am. I, want to understand I am. What I'm saying is there are conditions in which women don't menstruate despite uh, uh, attaining the age of puberty. See, you know, it, it, uh, this verse talked about three categories, but the one that doesn't, the one that says have it not. Let's Haven't? talk about those ones. Yeah? Okay. Okay. So those ones, since Quran didn't say. Okay. No. 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 But since Quran didn't explain who these people are. May, may I offer something a third party? I mean, if it's no use, I'll just walk away. Mm -hmm. um, but that verse, my understanding, correct if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. is that it specifically refers to the waiting period for remarriage. Yes. And the waiting and, and, period, and, 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 and therefore yeah. you must have already been married. Married before. And you therefore can. you must have already met the criteria, which includes going past puberty. Right. Exactly. That, because it's be, because the waiting not? period is for what as well? It's, it's for, for pregnancy. Okay, I like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, how can it refer to a pre of peasant girl yeah. when the three-month waiting period is to ensure that the woman is not pregnant? Okay. So, are you saying? Are you asking that question? Yes, I am. Okay. The you got it. You got it spot on. No, 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 no. It's good. It's good. It, this is what uh, we, I thought it would clear up the mm. misunderstanding. No, no, you haven't cleared it. I will tell you why. This is what we, when Christians read Quran, 
this is what we see, and we're thinking that. Well, hang on, you, you read it in Arabic? No, you haven't read the Quran. Well, no, the thing is, what if I haven't read Quran? It's only an, I, I haven't read the Quran. I'm Muslim. Yeah. Um, I heard. So if I read in English, then I'm not reading Quran. No, you're, you're reading a tafsir, a miniature no, 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 tafsir. tafsir. I'm talking about if I read the, the meaning. Uh, you're reading the meaning of the Quran. Translation into another language is an interpretation of the meaning by someone. That's how translation works. Okay, so and so therefore, it's, it's only accurate to call it a tafsir, a miniature tafsir. Uh, whereas the Quran can only be an Arabic. So when they, change, when they, tra when they translate it to English, anybody that reads it, they haven't read Quran. Anyone that anybody that reads the English Quran, they you're read you are reading oh, no, the meaning of the Quran. Quran. Okay, okay. But they, you they, like they will get some understanding. Yeah. What, what you can do is you get some understanding, but what you can't do is challenge based on what you've read can in you, English. Can you read Arabic? A little, I'm learning. Understand you can read Arabic, right? Yes. Okay. You know the verse that gives you? Does this talk about three categories? One, that's rich menopause. One that's pregnant. One that they've never menstruated before. Is that why it says it? Let me, see the, let me see the verse again. It doesn't say never menstruated before. It's I, yeah. It says have not yet menstruated. Yeah, that's, that means they've never menstruated before. Mm. Not yet. I'm not sure if they're equivalent, but close. They're close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but my understanding is the language is not yet menstruated. No, I was going to say it doesn't mention anything about if they're already pregnant. No. No, no, no. It mentions no, no. if they have a child, if they have a newborn, then you wait till the. Um, Okay, the three categories. Read yeah. in the Arabic. Tell me the three categories. Five. No, no. So what do you call it? No, you already have it here in the translation anyway. But you said I can't do it. Yeah. In no. And no one said you can't do it. You can understand the meaning. However, the meaning when you, right. what you, what you understand, what you need to understand, is the waiting period. Okay. Part of that is also to ensure that they're not pregnant. That they're not pregnant. That's the reason. So That's even the yeah. Reason. So That's no, no. So that is. That is part of the waiting. That's part of the intention of the waiting period. Yeah. All right. Which you wouldn't need. Which, you, which wouldn't make sense if this is referring to prepubescent girls. This is why we believe Quran is not from God. This is why we believe things like that. Contradiction like this. How is it? It's not What's the contradiction? You have. You all you've highlighted is a misunderstanding let me, let me finish, on your part. Let me finish, yeah. Okay. This. Uh, uh, the, the second category. Was who regarding. Are this, who, are this, who are these people? I want you to read it. it. I've read it. No, you what haven't, because you said it was referring to pregnant people. No, read it again. Just yeah, she did. Last one said is pregnant. pregnant. Just, just I said the first no, one. No, the first, the last one doesn't say pregnancy no, no. either. If I, if I could just clarify quickly, there's a difference between a contradiction within the Quran and a contradiction between your understanding of the Quran and the Quran itself. Mm. And, and you found the latter, but what you need to find is the former. Mm. Okay, the first sorry, one is this is my kind of discussion. Sorry, I'm it's okay. It's okay, brother. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you.